William, Prince of Wales led the eight grandchildren of late Queen Elizabeth II in an emotional vigil around her coffin. It comes less than 24 hours after their parents staged a similar memorial in Westminster Hall, where mourners continue to trickle past paying their respects despite having to wait in line for many hours. The heir apparent was once again accompanied by Prince Harry, who made an appearance in his military uniform for the first time in two years. William along with the Queen's other seven grandchildren, staged a 15-minute silent vigil from around 6 p.m. this evening, September 17, to pay their respects to the late monarch. In the middle of the casket sat Lady Louise Windsor and her brother, Viscount Severn, while on either side of William stood his cousins Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips. William's brother, Prince Harry, stood with Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. They stood watch over her casket with somber expressions on their faces as hundreds of mourners passed by. This was Prince Harry's first public appearance in uniform since he stepped down as a senior royal in 2020, and he did so proudly at the vigil. While the princes, Peter Phillips, Zara Tyndall, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, Lady Louise Windsor, and James, Viscount Severn stood silently in Westminster Hall, members of the public filed in one by one and observed the scene in quiet. William and Harry, who had been at odds with one another, made their third public appearance together since their grandmother's death on September 8. On Wednesday, the princes followed the Queen's coffin in a procession to Westminster Hall, then on Saturday, they unexpectedly showed up together with their wives to observe tributes outside Windsor Castle. In spite of losing his military rank and titles when he left the royal family as a working royal and relocated to the United States with his wife Meghan, Harry's father King Charles granted him special permission to wear his military uniform to the vigil. Despite having served for ten years in the British Army and two tours in Afghanistan, he had been wearing a civilian morning suit for formal occasions. Tonight, Harry was decked out in his blues and royals no. One uniform, KCVO Neck Order and Star, Afghanistan Operational Service Medal, Golden, Diamond, and Platinum Jubilee Medals, and Army Pilot Wings. Prince William also wore military attire to the somber ceremony, although the other six of the Queen's grandchildren wore conventional morning attire because they have no ties to the armed forces. He was decked up in the blues and royals no. One uniform with a slew of medals and decorations, including the Garter Sash, Garter Star, Golden, Diamond, and Platinum Jubilee Medals, and Royal Air Force Pilot Wings. The Prince of Wales, now first in line to the throne, entered the hall first, followed by Harry, and then the daughters of the Duke of York, the children of the Earl of Wessex, and the children of the Princess Royal. Royal children Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips stood on either side of William as he stood at the head of the casket. The Duke of York's daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, joined Prince Harry at the base of the monument. Lady Louise, the Earl of Wessex's daughter, and James, Viscount Severn, the Earl's 14-year-old grandson, stood in front of their grandmother's coffin. As the vigil came to a close, William escorted his brother and cousins out of Westminster Hall. First done in 1936 by King George V's children, the royal family vigil consists of members of the royal family keeping watch at the lying in state of one of their relatives. The monarch's grandchildren have never before attended the event. Yesterday evening, the Queen's children performed a similarly somber vigil, looking on the verge of tears as hundreds of members of the public filed through. Standing silently at the four corners of the catafalque in Westminster Hall in their military uniforms were King Charles, the Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, and the Earl of Wessex. As a special mark of respect, the Duke of York is allowed to continue wearing his naval uniform despite relinquishing his royal duties as of 2019. He served as a vice admiral in the Royal Navy but stopped wearing the uniform in public after a lawsuit against his accuser Virginia Jufri. The Queen Consort, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, Princess Anne's husband, and the Countess of Wessex all observed the children's vigil from a balcony above the hall. The line of mourners paying their respects to the late monarch has snaked through Westminster for hours. Firefighters provided warm beverages and comfort items like blankets and hot beverages to individuals waiting in the freezing weather for over 25 hours to pay their respects. The public, however, has not been deterred 
as evidenced by the fact that there has been a constant flow of individuals joining the line throughout the day and the current queue length is above 12 hours. This afternoon, the King and Prince of Wales addressed mourners in line, shaking their hands and praising them for their patience. Many of those waiting in line in Lambeth, South London, chanted God Save the King and God Save the Prince of Wales as Charles and William made their way out. Several people cried after meeting the new Prince of Wales, and one woman said, You'll be a brilliant king one day. After that, the Princess of Wales and the Queen Consort joined Charles, William, and the rest of the royal family for lunch at Buckingham Palace with Governors General from other Commonwealth realms. At the same time, the Earl and Countess of Wessex were seen greeting the crowds of people that were gathered in front of Buckingham Palace.